Okay, so the three vital behaviors. Let's talk about those today and what that really means. Um, you may have been introduced to the three vital behaviors on your seven day quick start guide. And these three vital behaviors are really what I consider to be the key ingredients to being a successful coach. Um, doing these three things on a daily basis is what's going to compound to your success. It's not going to be overnight. You can't just do these three things for a week and then be like, hey, Lauren, it didn't work. Um, you've got to give me 30 to 60 days of doing this consistently. And then if it's not working, we can sit back and talk and reevaluate and see really where the holes are. Chances are, if we reevaluate, you're going to come to the conclusion that you're not actually doing these three things every day. So let's talk about what the three vital behaviors are, what they really mean, and how you do them. If you've had a GSR call, this might be kind of similar to what we go over in the GSR call, but I'm going to go through this step by step with you guys because these three vital behaviors are that important, okay? Coaching is simple. I, I see coaches struggle all the time because I see them overcomplicating the process. They, they take something and they try to reinvent the wheel. Um, the wheel doesn't need to be, oh, here's my, my page fell out. Sorry, guys. The wheel doesn't need to be reinvented. We've got a system that works for you. It's been proven by top coaches and by other coaches on this team. So I want you to take these three vital behaviors and learn how to make them your own, but be true to actually doing them. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, so what are the three vital behaviors to start? Number one, invite, invite, invite. Number two, be proof the product works. And number three, personal development. So let's start with number one, invite, invite, invite. Well, to be honest, when I first heard the words invite, 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 I heard sales, sales, sales. And what that did was it prevented me from actually doing it because I never signed up to be a part of this business to be a salesperson. I signed up for my own health and fitness and to inspire others along the way. So doing sales was never something that I felt comfortable with. And it's not something I do, even to this day. I share what works for me. So invite, invite, invite really scared me. But once I understood more or less what invite, invite actually meant, what that behavior was, I am so much more confident doing it now on a daily basis. Okay? So each of those invites has its own meaning. The first invite is inviting people to be your friend. This means you have permission to go out into the social media world and make as many friends as possible, okay? I am giving you, saying, go make as many friends as you can. And, you know, I don't want you just to, like, randomly be walking up to people. I'm going to help you make friendships and build relationships with people that are going to need your help, that are going to help build your business, okay? So you want to be doing this this, I'm going to give you an action item after each thing, okay? So you want to be adding three to five new Facebook friends every single day, okay? And I know that can sound like a lot, but throughout this training, we're going to work on ways of how you add new Facebook friends. You can go to the people you may know section. You can use Facebook groups to network and meet new people. You can meet people on Instagram or other forms of social media like Twitter, a blog, YouTube. So you can funnel everyone to Facebook. Why do we funnel everyone to Facebook? Why not use email or something like that? Well, you can use email, but even from email, you need to be funneling them to Facebook because that's where your challenge groups are gonna happen. Facebook is what gives us the platform to be able to help people in a group setting. So we need everyone to get on Facebook at some point in time. What happens if someone doesn't have a Facebook, like you meet them on another form of social media? Um, you know, that's really up to you, but I encourage all of my challengers to create a Facebook just for the challenge group. I really use testimony of how important that challenge group setting is to the success of their journey, and I have them create a Facebook, for Facebook, and even if I'm their only friend, that's fine. They can still be a part of the group, right? Okay, so three to five new Facebook friends every single day. You can do it. Just send out three to five new Facebook friends, friend requests a day. Okay, and also invite people to come friend request you from other forms of social media. 
say come find me on Facebook. Friend me on Facebook. If you're talking back and forth with someone on Instagram, find me on Facebook. Okay, so everyone should just be funneled to Facebook. The second invite is inviting them to a free support group. Now, what is a free support group? What, what, how does that differ from a challenge group? Okay, well, one, it's free. <laughs> this is a relationship building group, first and foremost. This is where we as coaches get to prove that our intentions are true. My intention as a coach is to help you, is to not make a sale. Yes, I have a product that I work with and I stand behind and that you are going to buy, but I'm just going to connect you with the product because it's worked for me and I know it's going to work for you. I'm going to help you find what works for you. So in those free challenge groups, you build relationships so that sharing process becomes more natural. Um, it's not selling, selling. You're just giving a friend offering advice on their fitness journey. That's what coaches do. We offer free advice and we motivate and inspire people to start their journey. Okay, so one of the free groups that I love to do is the five-day cleaning group. The template for the five-day cleaning group and all the materials you need to run your own group is located underneath the files tab of Team Fit Revolution. So you can use this templated group to run your own five-day cleaning challenges. That's just one example of a challenge group that's really worked well for me. Um, it doesn't necessarily need to be what you do. We'll have more training on the five-day cleaning challenges throughout this boot camp. But you are welcome to come up with any challenge that might interest you. Um, you know, if you're a mom, maybe thinking of a healthy kids eating group or something like that, or a headstand challenge, or a squat challenge, or anything that's free and just encourages people to live a fit and healthy lifestyle. It actually doesn't even need to be about health and fitness. There's people on the team running um, financial freedom um, challenge groups. There's organization challenge groups for your household. Really, whatever it is that interests you, if you've got a strength or a skill that you could share with people and add value to their life, come up with a free group to start inspiring them. I know I was just talking with Jessica Bridges and she wants to start working out early in the morning. So she's gonna create a group, an accountability group for people that all wanna work out in the morning. It doesn't have to be Beachbody, but it's a great relationship building tool. Okay, I know this invite process is a little bit lengthy, but we're now to the third invite. And the reason I spend so much time with this one is because it's so important. You have to be doing the invite, invite, invite. And I really think when you understand it, it becomes that much easier. So the third invite is inviting to a challenge group. Um, and this is where you would hook them up with a challenge pack and get them started on Shakeology and a workout program. Now, not everybody goes through this transition of friend friendship building to a free group to a challenge group. Sometimes they jump straight to a challenge group. But if we model our businesses to work off of this three-step process of invitation, um, it's going to just start happening, okay? Um, so a challenge group, why a challenge group? Well, it offers the, all the things that they need to be successful, fitness, nutrition, and support in a private format where you can manage all of these people or motivate and keep track of all these people in a group setting. And not only that, they're going to start to build relationships and they're going to start to motivate each other and become accountability buddies. And you're going to have your own team of coaches grow out of these challenge groups. Okay. So, um, that is the invitation process. And, um, if you have any questions about number one, inviting, please. And the discussion about the three vital behaviors ask, cause this one is really, really important guys. Okay. Let's move on to number two, being proof the product works. Well, I've got good news for you. You're already proof the product works. If you signed up to be a coach with a challenge pack, you're doing a workout program, you're drinking your Shakeology, you're proof the product works. Maybe you've been using the programs for a while, maybe you just started. Um, but you have a story regardless. Your story is in the making. If you've got a transformation to share already, by golly, share it because that is proof the product works. If your journey is still in the making and you know you just started your workout program and you haven't had that transformation yet, that's okay. You have a story and a journey in progress to share. And honestly, guys, when you're in progress and you're sharing it, it's so relatable. 
you're relatable to other people. So you need to be proof the product works. And the action item from this one is sharing that on social media every single day. You can't just do these programs and drink your Shakeology and just expect people to know you're doing it. They don't unless you share with them. And you need to share with them in an authentic way that's true to you. This is where we'll work more on branding yourself and finding your target market and more detailed stuff like that. But for now, I want you to get posting on social media today. You need to be posting three to five times a day on social media. Now you're probably wondering, okay, Lauren, what do I post? So let's talk about that for a minute. Um, and this is just my general rule of thumb of what I post. You should be posting one motivational post a day. This could be a quote. This could be a picture of you with a quote. Um, this could be anything that's just motivational and inspires people. Okay? Positive. Put positivity into people's news feeds. I mean, we already know there's plenty of negative Nancys out there. So stop with the negativity in your news feed and keep your news feed 100% positive. Okay? Be that shining light in someone's day. That's motivational post. Number two is a personal post. So this could be anything. This could be anything that's going on in your day. This could be your lunch. This could be, you know, what you're doing at that moment. This could be um, your kids. This could be your dog. I don't care. Personal. Anything. What would you normally post on Facebook? Be you. Be real. People want to get to know you. They don't want to just know Coach Lauren. They want to know who Lauren is. So I share who I am on social media every single day. And then the third post is a health and fitness post. And this is where you can tie Beachbody into your life. This post does not need to be all about Beachbody. It can, um, but it can just tie Beachbody in. And this isn't to say that, sorry, I got close to the camera, I'm itching my back. This isn't to say that, you know, some of your other posts, your motivational posts, your personal posts, that might mention Beachbody in there. But just make sure that you only have maximum of one to two posts a day that are directly about Beachbody. So like inviting to your challenge group or talking about the team, different things like that, one to two times a day. And um, so that, that I gave you three posts, right? Let's go over it again. One motivational, one personal, one health and fitness. If you decide to post five times a day, you get to choose what category those last two posts go into, okay? Be proof the product works and share it on social media. If you're, This is you know three to five posts a day on Facebook is what I'm talking about right now. If you want to do Instagram too, you can kill two birds with one stone because you can post on Instagram and share to Facebook and then you're getting both places. Um, so figure out what works for you, what form of social media you want to focus on and um, post three to five times a day there. And then the third vital behavior, personal development. Okay. This is what I like to call the secret ingredient to coaching. This is the vital behavior that I see people missing out on the most often. And I'm here to tell you today, on day one of this training, that personal development is the most important vital behavior. It is the secret ingredient that is going to make your business grow that much stronger, faster, and to give you the life that you want. It is going to help you create your life by design. It is going to help you make your dreams become reality. It is going to make you a better person. Personal development um, has enriched my life so much and just helped me identify exactly what it is I want my life to look like. And you know, how can you make an action plan of making that life happen if you don't really know what you want? And if you don't really know how to get there. And, um, you know, as motivators and as coaches, we're constantly giving, 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 giving. And it's really important that you're constantly growing. Because in order to give, you need to be growing. So personal development is a key ingredient. And you need to be doing the action item. is 15 to 30 minutes of personal development a day. This isn't homework. You shouldn't dread this. You, once you get into the routine and you see how beneficial this is to you, you're going to want to do it. You're going to crave it. And when you're having an off day, it's probably because you didn't do your personal development. I know that's how it is for me. And then that's when I go and I plug into something and fill my bucket back up. So 15 to 30 minutes a day. It can be when you wake up in the morning. It can be before you go to bed. It can be in the car when you're driving. It could be audio. It could be a book. It could be a video. But you need to be doing personal development. And for this training, we're all going to be reading The Compound Effect. 
So if you haven't already ordered the Compound Effect, please do so today. You can download it on iTunes, to your iPhone, iPad, or you can buy it on Amazon, and it's about $10 either way you go. Um, that is everything I've got on the vital behaviors. I hope that helped clarify everything and make it crystal clear for you. If it didn't, be sure to participate in the discussion all about the vital behaviors. Thanks so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.